histogram. This is the graphical representation of a grouped frequency distribution of continuous groups. Method for drawing a histogram. We represent the group limits along the x-axis. Along the y-axis, we represent group frequencies with x-axis as the base and y-axis as the height. We construct various group rectangles. Let us try to understand it with the help of an example. Construct a histogram for frequency distribution given below. Solution. Here are some data figures. If we have a look at the table, we see that the class intervals are continuous. To find out adjusted frequency of a group, we should use the following formula. That is, adjusted frequency of a group is equal to the size of the smallest group divided by the group size and multiplied by the frequency. Look at the table again. In the first column, we have class intervals. In the second column, we have frequency. In the third column, we have group size. And in the last column, we have the adjusted frequency. Now, as shown in the animation, we can easily get the group size and the corresponding adjusted frequencies from the class intervals. Now we have a new table of adjusted frequencies. Therefore, we are ready to draw a histogram. First, we draw two perpendicular axes with the intersection point or origin. Horizontal axis is x-axis and represents 10 class intervals of measure 1 unit each. Also, y-axis is vertical axis and represents adjusted frequency of one frequency having a measure of one unit. Now, we draw a column to denote the above data. For class interval 10 to 20, adjusted frequency is 6. For class interval 20 to 30, Adjusted frequency is 2 and so on. This way we obtain a histogram.